everybody. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing a mini session for one of my patrons. It's a special type of session that I offer those on my Patreon community. It's five to 10 minutes of energy work and wisdom looking into any type of goals. If you're interested in checking out my Patreon community, you can do so at patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. All right, I wanna thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm gonna read your goals out loud and we're just gonna take a look at what's going on here, okay? Thank you so much for sharing with us on YouTube as well. So you say, hey Abby, I often wake up in a low vibration, and today I lay in bed pondering why and trying to raise it. Suddenly, my low vibration solidified to a consciousness and rose like a creature from the swamp, where the swamp was really just the creature disguised as a swamp. <laughs> That's a lot right there. The low vibration was actually the whole swamp was a creature. <laughs> Okay, so in your vision, it was huge, green, but not scary. And its voice was so nice, clean, and clear, and very in indignant. Enough of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Was clean and clear. And then this emphasis, enough of this. I am useful, worthy, intelligent. A bunch of positive qualities popped up. If only you dot dot dot. It didn't call me stupid, but showed me someone trying to eat soup broth with a fork and who was really frustrated and blamed the fork. <laughs> I freaking love this. <laughs> this is so solid, man. This is a straight up journey. This is like what I do. So it's just really trying to make sense of um, why these images, what is it telling you? How do you face it, resolve it? It's like the next step of journeying. You literally are journeying master. It's just, man, take it to the next step. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna recap and then we're gonna read the rest of this. So you're, you're in a low vibration when you wake up and you got to thinking about it. And so you, you kind of start to, to witness this, this uh, image come up and there's this, uh, you know, monster-esque, huge green, not so scary. And its voice was nice and it's clean and clear. And then it says, enough of this. You know, I am useful, worthy, intelligent, a bunch of positive qualities popped up. If only you dot, dot, dot. And then it starts to showcase that you eating soup with a fork. <laughs> All right. So it demanded now, I recognize its sovereignty and its rights, and that I, we, end the unjust discrimination against it and work on ourselves. <gasps> Dang! This is such good stuff. And it, this was the new, um, was new for me. And then you say, have you had any similar experience while well, channeling that can give more in-depth, give, give more depth to this? All right. All right. Okay. You know I'm going to go look into this, right? <laughs> I'm going to go look at your vision and make sense of you. <laughs> okay. Give me a moment because I I'm um, digesting everything right now. Even how what would my tips be for you? You're literally choosing to be self-aware. You're literally choosing to acknowledge that when you get up, you're kind of in a low vibration and you're wanting to shift that energy. You're allowing yourself to see things in a creative way in order to understand your inner universe. And the universe is inner universe is presenting this information to you. But what I love is that you're allowing it to be what it is. You're not judging it. And that's the most important part in this is that you just allow things to be what they are. Don't judge them because it's the only way to get more information. Um, if you judge it, then you need it to revolve around whatever your insecurity is that requires the judgment. <laughs> so if you don't judge it, then you, there's an unconditional love about it, okay? So how would you go to the next step with this? How would you actually take this scenario and move on to the next step with a journeying ability? I'm going to pause for a moment, but I will give you my perspective of this anyway. Just I think it's going to add just another little caliber to it. Okay. Yeah, it's the most obvious. Um, You've, you've already acknowledged step one. You did it all by yourself. And then I'm, I'm just validating it. Um, so where do you go from here? 
Um, you use that same skill to just open the door to whatever wants to reveal itself. And this is the beginning of a very fun adventure. You allow it to say what it wants to say. You have a right to say what you want to say. You have a right to say, since when do I use a fork to eat soup? I need you to give me relatable examples. Monster swamp guy that's clean and nicely speaks to me. <laughs> I need you to give me specific examples. <laughs> and it will or it will not. Because it's vibrationally always tuned in with what is the most meaningful wisdom, meaningful perspective, meaningful healing that you need to receive right now. It always will be like that. So you will get an answer, you won't get an answer at all. It's exactly what you need. But you can ask questions, you can dig a little deeper um, and know that that monster um, is that today, but it will turn into a flamingo tomorrow and the day after that it'll be some shadow in a weird scary basement and the next day after that it's going to be a freaking lightning bolt in the universe and the day after that. So it's always going to be shifting and changing because so are you. And nothing is permanent. It's always shifting and changing. So it's allowing you to stay in the flow, okay? I think this is an incredible event that's happening in your life. You, you know that, that this is the totally going to open doors for you and it's going to make your life so much more interesting and exciting. Because when I first started doing journeys, when I figured this out, when I started to realize all this creative stuff that I was doing for years and years of my life was actually a legit phenomenon where I am I found this key to working with my inner universe and connecting with universes beyond myself, interdimensional understandings and perspectives and feel energy in all different ways. Like it was all this psychic kind of ability. It's like a sixth sense ability, but it's taking the ego out of it. It's just letting things flow and present themselves as they do. And it's, it's such a master teacher. It's um, this, this skill is a master teacher. So let me just make sure that I, I'm solid here. Any f similar experience while channeling? Um, I mean, yeah, like everything related to that is familiar. Everything related to that example right there is familiar. So is it specifically, if I had anything very specific to this all the time? <laughs> I mean, but I don't know what the other side of it is because only time will reveal it and more investigation will reveal it. And that's where the adventure comes in, right? <laughs> so what is it specifically saying? I don't know yet, but why don't I just take a peek for fun, okay? And we'll see what I see about your little scenario here. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Okay, so I'm just walking into your vision and then I'm just learning about it my own way, okay, to give you just another perspective. Like you could walk into any vision, like any journey that I ever do, you could walk into it and then see it for yourself in your own way. Um, it could be a lot of fun. Like I like doing this. Okay. Well, you don't give yourself enough credit, to be honest. I like that he, this uh, swamp monster gives you a lot of positive feedback, but then, um, I mean, he's trying to showcase something about the fork and the bowl of soup, but vibrationally, this whole message vibrationally is just, um, you're not giving yourself enough credit, believe it or not. There's a lot of tears that need to be shed here. I wouldn't be looking to the monster in order to see yourself. And I wouldn't be looking at the fork in the soup bowl. That's literally just, um, it's almost like your reflection is going to have some illusions in it. But the illusions might actually be the gift that makes you humble. But sometimes the gift that makes you humble can make you very sad too because it, it, it can mask what your true worth and value is, okay? So let's see though, if this is correct, do you vibrationally somewhere, it, what about the soup um, with the fork? This is a very interesting detail. You know what? You look at me and you say, you know what, Abby, I'm done with the fork. And then you take the bowl and you drink it, the soup. You say, I didn't need a fork. 
It was almost like you were looking for some reason to make things more difficult than they really are. And sometimes when things are too simple, it's um, almost laughable and weird. And it, it's like you're saying, um, why do we need silverware anyway? We can just drink the soup. I was like, well, you know, there's some soups that are kind of chunky. Like you could have a chunky soup with a fork. I've eaten chunky soups before <laughs> with forks. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I like to break rules. <laughs> Let's see. You like, you smile and um, you, you kind of nod. Like, I guess I'm kind of breaking rules too, just like drinking it. And I say, yeah. I say, what are we going to do about all of this? Because you feeling kind of low in the morning. You know what echoes to me to just whisper to you? Is when we have something that we look forward to the next day, it doesn't make us feel so low. If we go to bed at night and say, I cannot wake up, wait. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have the best day ever. Even if you were to wake up and say, you know, what? I'm going to give myself a treat and I'm going to take a nice walk at this special nature trail or and get myself a special cup of coffee or something like this. I'm going to do something nice for me. I'm going to get up and do something nice that is good for me in the morning. And you start, you start holding yourself accountable for um, a good positive experience. First thing in the morning, you shift that energy. But it's getting used to it. It's um, kicking yourself in the rear, doing the boot camp um, therapy, you know? A little bit of tough love. And I tell you, this is the last thing I'm going to tell you, is that you can have confidence... Um, you can have total ownership and total confidence in what you saw and the way that it came to you and what it made you feel and exactly at all the layers that you identified of the experience. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. And to have fun going and visiting this again and seeing what comes up next. And this might be the one thing that starts shifting your energy. It might not be the walk in the morning, but actually getting up and seeing what the universe wants to show you next. Because it's not only going to shift your energy, it's going to give you something to look forward to. It's a lot of fun. And there's um, so many avenues you can take with doing this. You know, like, look, at I'm sitting here right now helping you with your journey that I do for a living. And now you could step into doing journeys for a living. You know, <laughs> there's so much we can do with these creative skills to help the world, you know, to help ourselves, to help each other. And I swear it's just the most natural skill is is our creative senses, um, is our emotions. And we combine all of that together. We The ego is not there to get in the way. And there's just so much we can offer. It's powerful. It's powerful. Thank you so much for this. And I know that this perspective is going to give you some things to work with. Thank you for sharing with us here. And um, for those watching again, um, if you want me to take a look at anything going on in your life, um, I do offer sessions on my website, abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Again, mini sessions I offer for those who are part of my Patreon community, patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. Have a great day, everybody.